When I sat down to write this speech, it was about two days before I was supposed to give it to Mr. Vanderholm, my classmates and my teachers will be surprised that I started that early. They will not be surprised, however, that I had absolutely no idea what to write. You will be proud to know that I did what any other high school student would do. I googled how to write a valedictorian speech. <laughs> the first thing that came up was a list of the top ten phrases not to use in a valedictorian speech. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. We'll always look back on these days, because nobody's ever said that before. Also a bad idea, this isn't the end, it's a new beginning. People say that at funerals. But the number one thing not to say in a valedictorian speech, according to this website, was the most cliche of cliche, we are the leaders of tomorrow. Now my fellow graduates, over the last four years here at Manson, we've learned a lot. For some of us, Mrs. Cromber has taught us how to find the limit that an integral converges to. For others, Mr. Fournier taught us something about poetry, philosophy, baseball, literature, baseball, Hamlet, baseball, reservation life, college, drama, or baseball. <laughs> I encourage anybody in the audience to approach Mr. Fournier after the ceremonies, and he can tell you a story about any one of these things, especially baseball. Some of us learn just enough in current world problems to write our essays for the Chelan Valley Republican Women's Scholarship, and others got more of Soliday's diagrammed explanations of the Battle of Helm's Deep. <laughs> All of this knowledge will no doubt be valuable as we go on in life. As valedictorian, my speech is supposed to be about our academic achievements here at Manson. But I would like to broaden that to cover what we have learned over the course of our high school careers. While brainstorming for my speech, I thought about our senior presentations. Each one of us had a slide dedicated to what we've learned while we were here at Manson. I can remember the most common ones I saw were first, determination, second, hard work, third, friendship, and fourth, teamwork. The first two go very well together determination and hard work. I agree with these completely. This class is a perfect example of a determined, hard-working group. We are fighters and workers and triers and I think I caners, and it shows. It shows through our grades, it shows through our awards and rewards, and it shows through any and every hardship we've overcome in the 12 years it took us to get here. Most of all, it shows because we are here today in our caps and gowns, ready to take the next step. It's true. We are a hard-working class, but that isn't what makes us unique. We've learned determination, and some of us have mastered it, but we aren't the first graduating class in the world to have done that. That's something special and something to be proud of, but it's not unique. And the next two big prevalent ideals that I took away from our senior presentations were teamwork and friendship. And I could add one more on that theme, which would be community. These ideas ring through these halls every day because we are blessed with the community we come from here at Manson. I believe that it's nearly impossible to walk through these halls every day for a month and not learn teamwork, friendship, and a sense of community. We are that ideal small school with teachers that care an administration that cares, and a community that not only cares, but makes itself a pivotal role in our education. Here's the deal, though. We're not the only small school slash community that there is. We may be the coolest. We may have the best school colors. We may have the very best teachers and community members there are. But I can't stand here today and tell you that we are the only school in the world that teaches friendship, teamwork, and community. We may be the best, but we're not the only one. Then it hit me. Talking to my friends from other schools, the one thing that we have that they don't is a leadership. Now, I wrote this speech expecting a few groans from my classmates, because I was groaning as I was typing that in. But it's true. Leadership is the one thing we have here at Manson that gives us that little bit of an edge. Now, I'm not just talking about the leadership class that we have here at Manson because points and service projects 
are only one factor in the development of leadership. Another huge factor is participation in sports. Many of this year's class graduates have participated in sports during their four years here, and many became captains not only their senior year, but their junior years as well. Last but not least, a crucial part of learning leadership for here, here for us at Manson, is the role models that we've had. Not only have we had tireless teachers and coaches working tediously to help us make it to the place we are at today, we've also had administrators and support staff working their tails off to make our school win all sorts of awards. Most importantly, we've had amazing role models within the previous students whose pictures line the halls of our school. Every day we walk by pictures of great role models and leaders that graduated here, many that we knew very well, and others that we've only heard stories about. I'm proud to think that our class has grown to be the type of leaders and role models for the underclassmen that the class of 2012 was for us. And over the, last, over the next couple of minutes, or the next minute, I'd like to talk about a couple of the academic achievements that we've earned throughout our years here. We've had 18 students that earned college credit in math. That means there are 18 students sitting up here that will go to college already having credit in math classes. Uh, we've had 15 students that earned college credit in English from the University of Washington. And we had 27 students that took AP tests for college credit. And this includes English, history, art, and psychology. We've had 27 students that have earned credit in those areas. Next, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates to thank the people that have brought us here. Um, these are people that I think are very important uh, to us and to me and the development of the leadership that we've learned here at Manson. Um, first of all is Mr. Amson. I'm not quite sure where he's sitting. He's been instrumental in uh, designing the leadership course for us here at Manson, and he's a great example of a good leader and a good person. Thank you, Mr. Amston. Uh, second would be Mrs. Cove. She also helps out a lot with the leadership and career choices class. She's the one that's pushed us so hard to uh, apply to all those scholarships applied all those scholarships and all those colleges. Thank you, Mrs. Cuff. Third is Mr. Soliday. Um, as, as all of these students here know, and some of the juniors and some of the underclassmen know, uh, depending on what class, depending on what grade you're in, uh, everyone gets it. But everyone will hear Mr. Soliday's how to be an adult speech and uh, everyone can take something away from that. Uh, Mr. Saladi is a great role model for us here at Manson. Thank you, Mr. Saladi. Uh, the last person I'd like to, s to thank, and uh, I'm sorry I couldn't thank every single person because my speech would be a whole four hours long, but uh, the last person I'd like to thank is Constantino Montes. I'm not sure where he is, but he is a great example for the students here at Manson and for myself um, and what a great role model someone from Manson can be. Uh, Mr. Mr. Montes uh, went to school here at Manson, graduated, and he's come back to teach here this year. And uh, I think that he's been a huge role model to us at this school, and it's, it's so huge to, to be able to be in class and to see someone and say that is what someone from Manson can do. So thank you, Mr. Montez. So now we're graduates. So we're going to be heading to each other's parties and exchanging cards and goodbyes. There will be hugs and there will be tears. We'll do our best to stay in touch. But we'll be living our lives, doing our best and showing the world that we can, in fact, live up to being the leaders of tomorrow. Thank you.
most important things we learn in high school is, surprisingly, not how to use the quadratic formula, or learn the exact date of Plessy versus Ferguson. It isn't learning how to analyze Shakespeare's Hamlet, nor is it memorizing the periodic table of elements. For most of us, it started in elementary school. For some of us, it began only this year. Each of us got lumped in with the other students of Manson's class of 2013. It was from that point onward that we began to learn and grow with, one, with each other. We'd see each other every day, get paired up on projects, form bonds, and get to know one another. Each day was a new day to discover bits and pieces about our fellow classmates. Who we grew close to and who we hung out with became a huge part of our identities as we were growing up. So what's the factor that's so important for high school students? Friendship. The class of 2013 is a diverse and motivated group, a group that I have personally seen as respectable and hardworking. We have extraordinary athletic students, like soccer goalie Alexis Castro. We have those who found, we found out to be skilled artistically, like Kelly McClellan and Jesus Sanchez. We've got Brian Perez, video game enthusiast, Gladys Castro, whose organizational skills are unparalleled, and Felicity Guerra, whose quiet disposition hides fierce loyalty and selfless kindness. And who can forget our favorite student, a mixture of Bianca Sanchez and Leah Produsco, who we all call Bianca. From tra translators, to marriage and family counselors, to dentists and mathematicians, our class has a varied set of goals that we want to achieve. Goals that we worked hard towards during our high school careers. High school was the first step to learning how to survive with people different than yourself. It taught us how to work with others in the face of adversity. As this class goes out into the world, we will continue our journey of helping people, accepting people, and giving to people, with all of our varying personalities that we have cultivated by being together. Last but not least, a piece of advice we should each consider as we go our separate ways. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure. These are the things we should pursue to respect ourselves and respect each other. If we pursue our dreams in this way, the world will be a better place.